It's big box day. Hi, it's Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kingmaker Network, and we're here again for another mail call. Last week was uh, number 40. Uh, I didn't realize it when I was doing it, but this is 41, 41 week, not weeks, but 41 episodes of crack, no, 41 episodes of mail call. <laughs> it's early. I'm still a little tired. Um, <clears throat> let, me, let me hang up my uh, jacket here. Like Mr. Rogers, I put on my little shirt and take off my... Well, I don't take, I usually take off whatever shirt I'm wearing, but today I had a jacket, so I, I have this little jacket here to, to quasi hang up. Um, oh, that's not good. There we go. All right. So, uh, well, we got uh, a dragon big box, so there's going to be a lot of dragon kits. We got kits from overseas. We've got stuff I've already opened. Uh, we'll just get on with it, I suppose, shall we? All right. So, um, in the kits I've already opened, I got this I opened this one because it, the box was rather crushed and I wanted to make sure it wasn't damaged and luckily it was not. But this came from Stevens International. It's the new KV-220 Russian Tiger Super Heavy Tank. Another tank that's in World of Tanks. It was a premium tank, I believe, or a giveaway of some kind. Uh, premium, I suppose, a special limited edition of premium, now that I think about it. Um, this is obviously a, kind of a KV-1 with uh, different turret and more armor and, and so forth. but. Uh, for those interested, that one's out there now, 05553. Uh, then we also got in, as you might have noticed, the uh, Ryfield model M1A2, um, M1A1 or A2, it's a two in one, uh, Abrams tank with full interior and also engine. Um, so that one's out and we've already done a unboxing for that and so forth. And then we also got from them their M1A1 Abrams. Uh, this is without, without the interior, but uh, they'd put out the M1A2 uh, Tusk 1-2, right, before before this one. So this is their third Abram. Uh, so they're getting rather skilled in that area. And then we got this box, which I kind of peeked at just to see what it was, but um, from Flyhawk. And what has Flyhawk sent us? They have sent us... Um, a World War II Royal Navy Aircraft II, which is a, some kind of seaplane. Not familiar with that, but uh, this is FH-1130, and it is in 1700 scale. And then they also sent us a uh, continuation of their Lux series, I guess, the Panzerkampfwagen II Os L Lux. This is with uh, <laughs> Zusta, uh, mm, Zusta Panzerung. I'm not sure what that is. It's some some kind of weapon slash whatever special thing that's on there. This is a also 172nd scale kit. So, but the uh, Flyhawk 172nd scale kits are very detailed, very, very nice. Then we got a magazine here from History and Collections. Which one is it going to be? Well, we will find out. Ah, it is Steel Masters number 140. See, they're up to 140. I'm only at 41. They've been doing it a little longer than me. Uh, so we'll get a turning the page, hopefully, on that one. And uh, from somewhere in Poland, I'm going to guess maybe IBG, but we'll see. Uh, we got this box. Oh, no, it's a new company. That's right. I think I remember hearing something, reading something from someone. Um... Let's see. Let's see what Polish adverts are like. Hmm. Look, they're much like American adverts. <laughs> uh, coffee makers and, and mixers. So it looks like a Hamilton Beach, but it's not. Uh, or what can I say? KitchenAid. It looks like a KitchenAid mis mixer, but it's not. Bicycles, inflatable pools. It's like America. We've got all the same stuff we've got. Imagine that. Um, all right, so uh, the actual, this is the Res IM company, Resim, I guess, instead of Resin, Re, and the uh, subtext, uh, subtitle is Resin Improvement. So these are 172nd scale Soviet barrels. Get a good shot of those. And these uh, are World War, World War II drums, is what their technical term is. And these, are, they also make them in 148 scale. So. They're doing different scales of the same thing, which is always a good idea. 
And what else do we have here? We've got, um, this is F15 ABCO, I think, wheel set. Probably you'll be able to read it better than I can. Uh, in one thirty second scale. So aircraft as well as, well, I guess the drums obviously can be used in aircraft diagrams. We'll see if they're mostly aircraft or if they extend into other genres. And then we got some more of, uh, these are one, oh, so they are, they are doing one thirty-fifth scale. So they are extending into armor as well as aircraft stuff. And then we have SU-25 wheel set. Uh, and what else? There's quite a bit more in here. So we've got, everybody's going, big box, big box, dragon. No, no, we have to show off the new stuff first. Uh, the uh, L29 Delphin wheel set is another one that they've come out with. Let's see if we can get that close enough. This is, uh, as I said, this is 172nd scale. 7238 is the number on that one. Then we've got uh, T34 wheels. Um, so these are like special, I guess, uh, resin road wheels with the, the pins in the outer outer rim. Uh, this is um, 135th scale. Sorry, bag's not cooperating. Flopping back and forth. Um, they, uh, another 70 second, this is a Toronado wheel set. And what else? We have uh, more T34 wheels. Um, this is a different version. This is without the little pin holes. Uh, and Soviet gas cans. Yeah, Soviet World War II cans. These are 135th scale. Let's see if I can get better close up there. And uh, MiG-21 MiG late wheel set for 48th scale. Wrong way, Jim. Wrong way. Yep, yep. There you go. Uh, then we have the MiG-21 late main wheel set for uh, 144th scale. So they really, they, they go all over the scale gamut. I'm not sure those are going to really show up in on for the camera. Then we have, uh, again, 1144th and F15 A, B, C, or D wheel set. And lastly, we have a 72nd scale uh, MiG-21 wheel set. Yeah, that's 7230 is the number on that one. All right, so um, they've got some larger kit boxes in here. They've got uh, F an FA-18, an F slash A 18E FG wing fold set in 172nd scale. And that's 7229 is the number on that one. Um, I got some large kits in there too, but uh, we'll do those last. T3485 exterior set in 135th scale. And a Hurricane Mark I gun bay in 148 scale. Angling, wrong way. Okay, there we go. Um, then we have some large conversion sets. This is um, a BF 109G 6 Last Eagles. Box contains BF 109G from AZ model. Oh, so it includes the whole kit? No. Yes, yeah, it includes the whole kit. So this is an all in one. Um, the uh, resin cockpit um, from Res I am, uh, photo etch parts from Res I am, canopy mask from Res I am, and new new decal versions. So uh, yeah, that's kit in box, one seventy second scale, obviously, right? Yeah. And then we have also a BF one hundred nine G six with remarkable Gustavs. Uh, labeling very similar, obviously set up there, 72nd 70 second, 70 second scale as well, but there's the... So some very unique uh, options there for in terms of decal sets and updates. And that's from everything from Res I Am. And uh, just to kind of cover these uh, or to qualify, we're going to make some of these uh, items available, especially the, the kits obviously. Um, because of the nature of resin, you know, Soviet barrels and things, I can't guarantee that every one of those items is going to get covered. So if you're a resin manufacturer and you want to send me items for mail call, great. 
I can't promise though, we already get like hundreds of kits. So trying to get reviewers for hundreds and hundreds of more resin items is, is problematic. But we try, we try. Uh, we just don't always get people who are, you know, yeah, I want to review those Soviet barrels. More than likely, they're just going to buy them because they're inexpensive and they see that they're available. So that's the, the hopefully the benefit in having them on, on the show here. The show, I'm calling it the show from now on. That's what I'm calling it. All right, so now we've got a box here from Mini Art, and this is should be the brand new stuffs so that come in right from right from uh, the Ukraine, Kiev. They're now in Kiev. Uh, for those of you who don't know the little drama, they used to they used to be in the uh, um, they used to be in the part that Russia took over, uh, Crimea. Uh, so yeah, they had to, they had to move, pick up and move. Uh, concrete telephone telegraph poles, one thirty fifth scale. Um, these are, as you can see, the, uh, the cement, uh, concrete, uh, versions, you know, with the, with the kind of space holes in them and such, but, uh, very, very European. And then we have a couple of different, uh, railway tracks. Um, this one is just railway track, the top one, uh, these are 35th scale. And the bottom one is railway, tr railway track with dead end. So, very nice. The dead end, obviously, being this little thing in the back there, just, just being a stopper, rail stopper. I think there's a more technical rail term for it, but that's what I'm going to call it. T34 wafer type uh, workable track link set. Um, this is, I guess, a universal. I'm just not saying any particular kits. And this is on the back here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is different colors. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything where it says what, what kit it's for, but it could be out there still. Um, and then we have a champagne, champagne. <laughs> I did that intentionally. Champagne and cognac bottles with crates. So that, these actually look really cool, but of course the image looks like it's a uh, 3D rendered image, not the actual kits themselves. But, but if they came out looking that good, man, that's, that's amazing. Uh, then we have uh, German sitting civilians, 30s, 40s, so obviously World War II era. I'm sure those will be welcome for, especially people doing the tram and stuff like that. U.S. soldiers at rest, also look like some nice poses there. These are both 135th scale, obviously. And let's see what else we have. Uh, all right, well, that, that covers the mini art. So now we'll get down to the dragon, the dragon nitty gritty. I hope my volume's good enough here. I don't see my, my thing going like way up in the thing. Hello. Okay, there. Now it's going up. All right. Let's go ahead and open this large puppy up. The suspense is killing you, right? I know. It's it's it, for those of you it might be first videos or something. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing a good job here. Um, they're going to be Dragon kits in here, as probably as well as other manufacturers that Dragon USA um, covers, stocks, sells. There will not be a 135th scale ATAT in here, I'm sorry to say. Maybe someday they'll surprise me with that. All right, so right off the bat, <laughs> we've got uh, a, that's a joke for people who have been watching my videos for a long time. Uh, SD, okay, I see that uh, 162 Jog Panzer 4 ao uh, yeah, a continuation of the Jagdpanzer IV series, obviously. I'm not sure what the AO variant was. Uh, looks like it's maybe got slightly different side skirts on it, um, maybe or maybe a different gun. Gun looks more like it's a, like a 105 or something. Do they actually put the 105 on here? Anyways, all right, so that, that's, that's out and available. 6843 is the stock number on that one. Um, the uh, Jag, mighty Jag Tiger. This is a Henschel production type uh, with 12.8 centimeter standard a pack 80 gun L66. Um, not sure what's different about this other than I know that they've put out um, put out ones with Zimmerit and so forth. So this this one this one looks like it doesn't have Zimmerit. Um, so maybe it's just kind of more of a plain Jag Tiger. Jag Tiger, haha. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> uh, so, battles of uh, Smolensk and Roslau. Uh, Roslau. Sorry, I didn't look that name up. 
1941. Uh, this is a six seven nine one. By the way, the Yog Tiger was six eight two seven. If anybody's looking to get the stock number on that one, uh, Stug three os e. This one six six eight eight. Uh, again, uh, another Stug release, but the os e obviously late in the production cycle. I'm not sure what the last Stug. What was the last Stug made? I don't think they got up to G, did they? Did they? Maybe, maybe they did get up to G. Uh, then we have in their uh, new uh, series, the uh, Middle East War series, we've got the the Magok 3. Uh, this is 50th anniversary, the 60 day, 6 day, 60 day? Uh, the 6 day war. They probably thought it was going to be 60 days, but no, it only 6. And uh, that one is, uh, again, I think, what's that M48 Patton, right? I want to say. Uh... Boy, if I'm wrong on that, that's going to be embarrassing. No, not really. Uh, <laughs> this is a Berg Panzer 38T Hetzer uh, with two centimeter flak 38. So interesting, an aircraft or anti-aircraft command tank maybe? I don't know if it was a command tank, but it was obviously an anti-aircraft tank. So interesting use of the, the Hetzer chassis there to just mount a, a, a two centimeter flak 38 gun in. You can kind of see the, uh, the opening there on the top. It's kind of cool. So I'm sure some, I don't know if that was a paper panzer or maybe a couple made, but. Um, wow, I've got the inexpensive box art on this one. Uh, Panther Os D V2, Ver, Ver such, Ver such -er whatever. Uh, some interesting uh, cat design on this one. Ron, they needed you on this one. You, you obviously were too busy to. All right. Oh, wow, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. A cyber hobby. Uh, orange box is what they, the super value pack. These are kits that they released in the past, but then they come out with a like an update to it. In this case, I think it has Magic Track, and they've included some Soviet tank equ equipment. But it's kind of like an old kit with an update, uh, and they're lower, usually lower price. So, but this is the Soviet uh, Su 85M tanks destroyer 52. I'm not sure. I think the 52 is just their stock number or number, um, and that is out also. Oh my goodness. Another Patriot system. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, King Tiger, Henschel turret. Uh, that was a little foreshadowing for you. Uh, King Tiger, Henschel turret with Zimmerit, uh, Panzer uh, Battalion 505, Russia 1944. So this one does have the uh, Zimmerit on the side. This is a two-in-one kit. I'm not sure what the two-in-one is, but uh, without doing further research, which would take too long. So we're not going to do that. And then we also have a Burj Panther uh, mit Ausgestetzum. This one has a, a Panzerkampfwagen Panzer 4 turret, I think. Yeah. Panzerkampfwagen 4 turret on a Panther. Hmm. Okay. I just throw. I just throw kit. Sorry. <clears throat> I told you. I'm. I'm ugh. I don't think I broke anything. Okay, so uh, that just leaves a couple of things here. Uh, another King Tiger, Porsche turret with Zimmerit. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't giving you the numbers. Six, 6848 on this one. The other King Tiger, by the way, was 6840. Um, and uh, this one, patent registered. Got some kind of patent. Incredible. Uh, all right, so uh, that just leaves a giant Patriot. So what's different? I guess this one includes the the this one includes the, the truck. Whereas the last one didn't. The last one was just this unit. Sorry, Gino. I just sent this off to Gino. <laughs> I mean he's probably got an extra Hemet laying around that he probably put with it or not. And you know, it depends on how you want to build it, obviously, whether you want the the full thing. And this is probably gonna be a much more expensive kit, I would assume, with the vehicle. But yeah, this is the 135 scale black label MIM 104B Patriot surface to air missile SAM system pack dash one with M983 Hem Hemet. 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 Hemet? Or Hemet? I don't know what the way people say it. And to be honest, I'm curious, so go ahead and post. I was going to say I don't care, but I actually do care. See, that's the difference. I don't care how I say it, but I care how other people say it. All right, so 35. 58 is the stock number on this one. So I'm not sure why they came out with the other one first, other than maybe to be like, ha ha, gotcha, you bought that one, now you have to buy this one. No, Dragon would never, never do that, sorry. Just, just kidding, it was a joke. 
It was a joke. Don't take it seriously. All right. Um, so that is a lot of a lot of kits, obviously, combined with all the other stuff here I have on this table. All right. Well, so if you're watching one of these videos for the first time ever, and you're like, "What the heck? What? Why? Why?" Well, we get all these for samples. These are all samples sent to us to to do reviews or content on the site with. We want content on the site. <laughs> um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna make a little comment here uh, and uh, or a little a little soapbox. We send off a lot of kits, and some of them, most of them, get done in terms of the content we're looking for. Some of them do not. Um, we keep track of all that. We do keep track on a spreadsheet of who sends kit, who gets kits, and and whether they complete get completed or not. Um, I was on the auto modeler spreadsheet recently. Uh, it sent off about five items in the last, say, 10 months or so. Um, with a few exceptions, uh, people who were basically just, you know, overloaded with projects and so forth. Um, the, the other four were not completed, and two of which were staff members. Staff members on my network who have who actually work on one of the other sites, but they, yeah. So, yeah. We unfortunately have the problem that all modelers uh, seem to have, and that is just basically over committing on things and uh, maybe uh, not having the timing or time to complete projects. So that said, if you are a very, very productive modeler who does not get bogged down in projects for six months to a year, uh, in other words, you don't finish them for six months to a year, then please send us your <laughs> requests for kids. Sorry, making light of this, but it's, it. I mean, because the for, by and large most of these will cost me money to send out obviously and I will get back some of it in reimbursed uh, shipping some people um, are, are good enough to send me back the the money that I send because uh, I have to say we're not like you know we're not rolling in dough here at Kitmaker Network none of the people who work on the site get paid they're all uh, volunteers um, I don't have any employees I, I am the sole employee of Kitmaker Network unless you want to count my wife who doesn't actually <coughs> work in the office ever uh, so um, yeah anyways again not to not to soapbox too too heavy here but the but the gist I'm trying to get across is uh, we we are going to start getting more serious about people following through on their on their commitments to do these things so if you feel like you are someone who can follow through on a commitment and wants to do one of these kits and that could be a blog in the forums or a build review or a build feature and by build feature I mean you build the kit and then you write up a story on what you how you built the kit and if you use some paints and different things you you know kind of throw that in there as well that's one of the reasons we have uh, samples from paint manufacturers and so forth and I am sitting on a lot of paints and things like that as well and for people who establish themselves well with us we'll make those things available to you as well so that you can essentially you know have a kit uh, get some paints, get, you know, basically get the whole ball and wax. Uh, I'm not saying we'll send you an airbrush too, but it's possible. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, we're, we are looking for, we're not looking for like a hundred content people here. By the way, when I make these pitches, it's not like to get like 50 people to email me. We're looking for like, you know, a few good men, as the, to borrow the, the term from the Marines. Uh, a few good people that we can, you know, rely on to do stuff, you know, fairly, you know, quickly, not like rushing, rush job, but, you know, do, do it in a reasonable amount of time and so forth. So, and unfortunately, a lot of the people we deal with uh, in the past are, you know, they're very busy on their own. They have maybe their own channels. Uh, you know, this is a tip to Adam, obviously, or this is a tipping the hat to people like Adam. Um, and so we don't, you know, we, though we, we will work with those people within, you know, their limitations in terms of their projects and so but that's not that's a separate issue we're looking for other people as well that are you know maybe not are already out there with their own youtube channel or already committing to you know magazine things i mean we, we get people who submit stuff to fine scale and 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 all, all sorts of online content as well as magazines and and print so um anyways so yeah again don't want to stand on this soapbox i feel like i've been up here for for an hour uh, but yeah, so if you are interested in samples, we have a whole, I'll put the link below, but we have a whole process for that. There's spreadsheets online. You can look uh, and uh, do all that. And I really should just encapsulate this into one video and then just like tack it on to all the end of these. That way I wouldn't, I, I have to keep saying this over and over again. But I don't mind. 
So how was your Monday? Mine, I had to do other things, but um, that's why this video didn't come out. But luckily, I think uh, I think one of these I think one of these boxes came in late yesterday, so I would not have had maybe the dragon box or something if I'd done it yesterday, which would have been kind of a pain in the butt. But I would have had to do a second video probably. Uh, so this way, I didn't have to do a second video, and uh, I'm happy about that. All right. <laughs> So, uh, anything else I want to cover? I uh, didn't do any tech stuff recently, so I can't do my little tech bit. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's about it. I, I know I, I know I uh, thought about the TeamSpeak again the other day, and I was like, oh god, I still haven't done anything with like trying to promote the TeamSpeak. We had a couple people who came into TeamSpeak the last time I talked about it on, on here, and and uh, kind of hung out waiting for other modelers to show up, but la alas, none of you showed up. Uh, <laughs> And for those of you going back to that that video, who remember I'm talking about the TeamSpeak, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about you. Um, but I will try to do that again. I'll try to do maybe some giveaways or something, and that'll that'll get people online. Giving them free stuff will always work, right? I hope. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out with me for whatever 15, 20, 30 minutes, however long this has been, 26 minutes, and uh, we will see you next time on Mail Call.